Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel where I style affordable fashion to amplify the aesthetic. And if you love what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's get dressed. And don't forget all of the outfit details will be available in the description box below where possible. Okay, so for this outfit, we have a black off the shoulder top that has been styled with a grayish brownish tone trouser and then accessorized with a off-white bag and some off-white sandals. So I decided to winterize this look with some thicker fabrics just to give a more cozier, more seasonal feel. So for the top, we have this off-the-shoulder chunky knit sweater. I absolutely love it. It just makes sense for the pre-fall weather and match the aesthetic. For the pants, I decided to go with these gray toned trousers that I thrifted that always come in handy. Trousers are definitely, I wouldn't say on trend, but definitely in heavy rotation in most people's closets just because you're getting a more relaxed feel to your outfit, but it also still comes across as very polished. For my shoes, I decided to go with these off-white sock boots just because, again, I want to play with fabrics and textures because we are going into cooler months. So instead of this open toe sandal, we have these boots which I paired with this bag that has been trendy in the past couple seasons, but just worked perfectly to work against the ivory and the boots and pull the whole outfit together. So it's simple, chic, and easy, basic outfit formula. This outfit is another chic and simple look, basic outfit formula, blazer and denim, and you're good to go. We've just added a couple accessories to zhuzh up the look. In our pin spell, she's wearing a blazer in a neutral tone paired with a white t-shirt or an off-white t-shirt coupled with a basic pair of denim and then accented with some snake print shoes. And then she came in with her monogram brown bag. So what I've done for this outfit is I pulled one of my thrifted blazers. It is in a wool fabric, so that means it's gonna give you a lot more warmth. I absolutely love this blazer, especially in its neutral tone because there's so many, because there are so many possibilities for styling this. But for this outfit in line with her pin bow, I came in with this. It's actually a sleeveless muscle tee that has shoulder pads. I went for this top to pair with this blazer because even though the blazer has some sharp shoulders or shoulder pad details, I still wanted to emphasize that just to make it feel a little bit more trendy and give it a little bit more structure. So we kind of went a little broad on the shoulders and, and then it kind of gave the blazer a more silhouette look. And then on the bottom, we kept it very simple. I have these blue jeans that have a raw hem finish. I absolutely love these jeans. They've been my favorite for a minute, but because I am losing weight, it does have a little bit more of a looser feel to them. I'm not too mad at that for now. Plus super tight jeans aren't really on trend, so I can get away with this. And then for the shoe, instead of going for a snake print pump, I came in with these snake print boots, which just totally mirrored the pin spoke. And then because I don't have a monogram bag, what I do have is a bag in a similar tone. So in this dark chocolate rich brown tone, we have this handbag with the gold hardware, which I feel like gives more, which I feel like makes the outfit feel a little bit more feminine and balances everything out. So I love that and that's the look. Okay, so for this outfit, I was more inspired by the color palette. She paired a yellow top with brown bottoms, which I feel is like a more unexpected color combo. And then she came in with a dark red bag for a pop of color, which you would think might throw off the look. When I considered it, I was like, it's giving a little bit more 80s McDonald's. I'm not sure how I really feel about it. But then the thing, but then the thing is, when I tried on the outfit, I kind of realized what it was. I was drawn to the color palette because I felt like it was rare. But the thing is, believe it or not, when I was in middle school, these were my school colors. We had yellow and brown and I hated it. It's basically giving like spoiled banana vibes. I was not in love with it. Our gym clothes uniform was not it. <laughs> it just wasn't it. And, at the, and even at one point in time, they tried to like revamp the whole thing and allowed us to kind of pick different combinations for our gym uniform. And it still didn't hit. So... I think that's why I've been like avoiding this color combination altogether, but but I absolutely love how this came together. I feel like it is a perfect color combination for the fall season with the deep mustard yellow tone and then the chocolatey rich brown. So I came in with this very boho chic yellow blouse. Every time I say blouse, I feel like I'm dating myself. Like, is that a term people still use? Blouse top interchangeable. This dark, deep mustard yellow top with all of the lace details, it just was 
just is the perfect fit to amplify this outfit and give it a little bit more personality and character. And it totally matched my vibes. So we have this yellow top. It has a bit of a high neck. High necks are also on trend, but I kind of struggle with I kind of struggle with high neck pieces sometimes because I don't really have much space to work with. But but when I love it, I live and fashion has its sacrifices. We did this top, we left it untucked, and then I came in and played with texture. And instead of a brown trouser, I have these, I have these faux leather brown trousers. And then mixing in all of the textures once again, I brought in this off-white sock boot that really doesn't draw too much attention to itself. We want the focus to be on the main event, the top and the bottom, more so the top. And then for the red bag, like I said, it was a little bit unexpected for me, but when I put my pieces together, I get it, I get it. It's so good. And it's just the perfect fall color combo. For this outfit, we have our no other than iconic Tracy Ellis Ross, like she had me at Joan, her style is everything. She's one of my main influences when it comes to style. I love when she gives juxtaposition. I love when she gives super femme. I just live. And she definitely had me at Joan. I live for Joan's closet. So here we are. The thing I love about this outfit is that it's actually in my happy color. This shade of purple, like a lilac lavender purple is my absolute fave. I love to pull for this color whenever I'm feeling down and out just because it makes me feel happy. It makes my heart smile. That That's all that matters. And so I love this outfit, even though it isn't really fitting for the season. Typically we do pastels in the spring and summer, but it's your life. It's your clothes. You only live once. Who cares? A blazer and a matching trouser, a monochrome fit is an easy outfit formula. For me, I went a little bit more personalized with the white top. Instead of going for a basic white button up, I have this one that has a little bit more styling detail. So it's giving elevated basic. And then our style inspo had these pink shoes. I decided to keep it fully monochrome and come in with these purple shoes in a similar tone, plus with a metallic accent. So you can very much see how I was inspired and definitely made the outfit my own. I didn't really have a bag planned for this, but I pulled for this silver metallic bag just to kind of balance out the metallics and it's a good look. Okay, and now for this look, which is the look I'm currently wearing. We have our pin bow in a lightweight knit sweater paired with a pleated gray skirt and then layered with some black sheer stockings accented with some knee-high black boots. And then she has a silver handbag as her accessory. So for this look, we're mimicking the style elements because my sweater is absolutely a Nueve. I don't got Nueve money, so we work with what we got. My sweater is in a similar shade of gray. The detail with my sweater is in the sleeves. It has this lace-up detail going down the arm, which is super cute and super chic, which adds a little bit something extra for the eye, similar to the Nueve patterns on the sweater. And then I have a similar pleated gray mini skirt but for the stockings, I decided to go with this pair. This pair has a little bit of a razzle dazzle feel to it. It has these like, it has a like shimmery finish to it. I love these stockings. I didn't necessarily love them for this fit. I thought that it would kind of go together because the shimmer was in a more silvery tone, but it was doing a little bit too much compared to what I wanted it to give, but overall I'm not mad. And then for the footwear, I generally don't have knee high boots because my calves are a little bit thick. I never really, I'm never really able to find too many options that I love. So instead of going for a knee high, I had these ankle boots, except my boots have a patent finish. I felt like it was super chic and cute to go with this small silver bag. And that's it, that's the look. So that's all the things for today's video, lovers and friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.